Welcome to the Rome campaign for Davidi at Impera 1.2.4. In the last part, we made a fairly significant progress in consolidating North Africa. If I just show you here, guys, what we've done now is we took out the Garamanthians here. So we're now up against the Egyptians, which is a little bit of a cause concern. I'm a lot further east than I originally wanted to. But more importantly, we have now taken out the Gatuli, and that now leaves us to go back to our original target which is to consolidate Iberia here. The reason I want Iberia is because, well, it was part of the original Roman Empire. It's also an economic powerhouse. It's one of, you could say, three, possibly four regions on the map, which if you really want to build a big empire that makes lots of money and can sustain large elite armies, you need to conquer them. One of them, and probably the most important, is Iberia. Once you control Iberia, you've got lots of regions close together that are very profitable, so you can see we've got iron here we and that is also very easy to fend now besides i mean i'm avoiding latinum which is a very profitable area as well this area here which i already own but also then and the next one over is this the this area here the greek peninsula because again you've got lots of regions small regions put together once you control this again you you can make money because you've got copper here we've got wine we've got olive oil I and mean, this is a very wealthy area got marble down here to help the building and then of course that sp spreads out into asia minor here and again so you if I mean, i'm treating these as two separate area, areas but in some ways this is a big mega area again once you control this area you, you can effectively make lots of money because again the, the regions are small close together relatively easy to defend and very profitable then of course the next big one down here is egypt's I mean, Egypt's not as big as the other areas, but it's a very profitable area. I mean, there are other profitable areas on the map, but once you control Iberia, um, I've, I've, I've set Latin apart because obviously that's specific to Rome. The Macedon Peninsula, Asia Minor in Egypt, you effectively got can build a super economy, which can then make you almost unbeatable on the map. For reference, guys, we are two turns on from the end of the previous video. What I did is I came out here and destroyed the Garamanthians. And what we're going to need to do is get this army back so it can refurbish. I send this army back in this direction so it can do a little bit of refurbish. And this is my scratch army. It's not the best army, but it will do the job. Now I want to pull this army back. And you can see that they're all going to need a little bit of health to be done on it. And we so I could do oops. just uh, let's see let's make sure actually let's just do it the quick way just upgrade these guys um, and I don't normally upgrade these just so that these guys because the focus now would be very much is on Iberia trying to conquer it and the strategy is going to be is to push in from the south and work our way north up towards the the border here which is more easily defendable but we've got a little bit more work to do we got the what's left of the Gatuli here and we can actually see they've got a damaged navy here we have to try and take that out we've got this army moving north as well which will bring you up here because what I would probably like to do is take out these guys next. Now the problem I've got is that I think they've got an army up over here which is in pretty good fighting condition and I've only got this small army here, the navy, I've, I, and we've got this army here, I've got this army out on its own. So what I really need to do is before we wage war on this area is get this army back. We've got a small navy here in Migbal. so I don't really want to start getting into any more battles to some of this area settle down I mean I'd love to pull this army back as well but I think at the moment it's going to need to stand and the other army belonging to this faction here is over here where are you there now there's a good chance they will start to pull back because they're pretty beaten up as well we're still getting rebellion here and I've got my small scratch army here I'm kind of inclined to recruit a couple more legions into this area here. And yeah, I think we'll get 
couple more legions and maybe some Libyan cavalry in there. Because I, I'm just having a real problem stabilizing this area at the moment. Maybe if I get you back into patrol. Now we've got all sorts of agents, armies hanging around, and it's something we're going to have to be very careful of when we're actually moving forward. Just want to get into Egypt. Because Egypt doesn't really like us, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah. Oh no, they're friendly. The trouble is, they, they probably won't. And the peace no, they still won't give us a favorite of ISIS. I mean, they upon we'll our meeting and in our words today. No, okay. Pharaoh. Maybe we need to go to choose another route here. We got our family tree here. Wow, massive family trees here. Just to make sure all these female characters are. Maxed out. Okay, you're not maxed out. Let's send you to Egypt. If you can improve your standing with Egypt. You're maxed out. You, you could probably do with... Masilla's getting a little bit annoyed with us, so... Because of what we did, we're just going to... Yeah, certainly don't want that. Love local province anything that's going to the trouble with these is authority yeah well that's not going to help very much you don't need to avoid agents cavalry units no because well, could give you that recover from wounds don't really want that don't want the mother-in-law manipulation persuade 8% chance. I don't know whether that would actually help her. Oh, well, we'll give it to her. She might be a bit more influenced with the diplomatic process. Uh, Corallis has still got a few problems which we need to fix. So when I mean, the economy is not perfect. I've got my uh, uh, navy down here that's still mustering. And what we're going to do is just have a quick look through. So platinum is making lot, loads and loads of cash, but we're low on food again because, well, probably it's probably the effect of terrakinesis. Why are you not being taxed? Okay. Unhappy population. Oh, that's this up here. Sorry. Yeah, this area is still settling down. Yeah, I talked myself into thinking it was uh, Hispania. We need to build that back up. Um, yeah, we certainly need more food. And I could take that up. But you've got a public order issue. Mauritania. You're going to pull together. Eventually, Talia. I mean, we could take that up, but the, again, the public order is not brilliant. This public order is high because we've got rebels. <laughs> and you're level three. Got here. You're negative as well. You seem to be negative across the board at the moment, except for here. Which is not good, but then again, it is winter. You're good, but we can't pick you up. Okay. Um, I'm a bit inclined to hang on to the cash at the moment. In fact, I think maybe it's time to. I don't want these guys getting any further away than what they are, so I think we're going to come down here. And deal with this Gatuli Navy. They've run away. All hands to the oars. Uh, they're still in range, or how far? Did, no, they're still in range. So let's just get down here. We should be able to destroy them. Yep, because. 
because they're all wrecked. They've got lots of archers, which could be a problem, which could damage this navy. Because we're going to have to get in up close and personal very quickly. So we will probably take casualties on this. But I think getting rid of this navy will be quite important. And nice and dry, start deployment. Right. Uh, you transports. Go sit back way back there. General. We're going to have these guys here. Put you out on that flank. Have the artillery ships behind. With the, the general. So, general, you behind. These guys forward and push you guys around that way. Start lining these guys up. I know I know a head on assault is probably not the best way of doing this, but I think if we You go for the general. You guys come this way. You guys come in behind. General. The battle is turning in our favor. Assault ship ready to attack. Assault ship. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys punch through. The enemy general is dead. Oh, no. Guys, come over here. Ready, willing, and able. Ships waiting. Assault ships ready to attack. Brave Roman Warman. Crews and ready. Ships at top of us. One of our units is used. Pop. Push through. General. General through. Ships ready. Ready, willing, and able. Roman. For ramming the speed. Our general is under attack. Yep. You guys have sunk these. Obviously, we've got ramming superiority. One of our units has used all its ammunition. General, over here. Destroy the enemy ships. Support ships ready and waiting. Over here. Assault ship ready to attack. Your orders? Ready for orders. Ready, willing, and in. An entire unit has perished. Well, it was, goes without saying. Wait. You go sail over there. We've lost one unit, General. In you go. Yeah, we're going to get a nice ram on the side of that. Yep, gotcha. Ready, 
Wait, let's untangle the ships. General. Oops, no. Wrong way round. I think they just got hit by artillery and in you go and if you guys can back out Let's just pull away. By your command. Orders understood. Can you get a little bit of a charge on. My units has used all its ammunition. Yep. Assault ships ready for orders. But you moving out. Sons of man. To the oars. Actually, you pull this way. And then they'll bow board. And these guys are dying. I don't think they're going to last much longer. Yep, end battle. Lost 151. And I think we've destroyed this Cthulhu Navy. And down they go. Yeah, well, we lost two. Wow. And the Cthulhu have gone. It is an honor to serve Rome. And what we're going to do is pull these guys back. The and we sh get. What we got here 45 75 and there legionnaires legionary marines what have they got uh, melee defense armor 84 okay let's just get a couple of these marines in we're not too worried about the auto resolve, so it would be okay. I think, well, we've got a bit more cash to spend now, courtesy of killing that navy. Don't really need that in here. Asculum, that would give us more food. Hmm. That's growth per turn. I think we'll go with that the wine it's going to cost us food but that actually gives us a benefit to the entire empire so we're going to put that in there of course finish we're going to need to do some research i can't remember what the research we've done mercenary auxiliaries so we've just recruited that you can come out here that's going to reduce the upkeep on all my armies agent recruitment costs and then that will give me replenishment that could be quite useful. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that, guys, because then that opens up, opening up elite barracks. Okay, that. And if I remember correctly, what do we get for a elite barracks? Nothing. You just get more cost, wealth, experience. And so really and truly, we've already got to this level here. Oh well, never mind. The replenishment is going to be useful. I'm just going to go for an end turn. Well, someone who's just gained a little bit of experience. Probably my admiral. Oh, no. This um, army here. Oh, he's in one of my new commanders, so we're certainly going to give him knight commander. Give him that. Certainly going to give him that. 
armor for all units, cultural conversion. I think that could be useful at the same time. Wealth, authority. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna, gonna give him that because he's gonna be leading one of my yeah, you're in a gear five and your job is going to be to come back over here to help with the assault on Iberia. Because I'm pretty sure you are. Yeah, you're in the artillery army. So I'm just going to go for an end turn. New political election. Political intrigue. Consequences of the trend accompanied by a famous scholar increased research rate for civilian Ah, technology, thank you. Uh, political intrigue, consequence of the term with generous tribute. We've got a little bit of cash, which is great. Urban migration, 60% wealth from agriculture. We got some of our food back. The uh, Macrimony Elders, that was a pirate faction that's been destroyed. Right, let's just get you back to up to here. Your job is going to be to just keep an eye on this here. I wonder what that is there. I'm just curious here, guys. I'm going to do this upgrade. What are you? So you're legendary marines. You've got less than. We've just got more armor. I think we'll see the advantage of upgrading those. So maybe we will upgrade all the artillery and our ships. You're up here now defending my other agents coming back. So I think you can slide through. So these are our top two targets here. The Navy's back in this position. We've got lots of cash. My instinct is to recruit some more of here we're going to get a marion first cohort in here and we've got slingers we've got some cab they keep building this army up a little bit and you're gonna to have to just keep traveling back carefully across the desert and once you get back here work we'll recruit the your missing unit yeah You guys can just drop into patrol for the moment and just chill out. Eventually, we will get the population back and running. Minus 11 food here, wow. And then once this is built up, we can start to... Uh, this guy can refurbish. You can just stand here. And patrol and I'd be inclined to bring this navy back you are going to have to get rid of this trash I'll fix this up. I think you'll be able to deal with them yep we've got them wedged against the city of course we're going to have to fight this and I mean we got cav superiority uh, oh, I thought we had missile superiority. We haven't actually got any missile troops here, but we got the garrison missile troops. So, although we, I mean, we got four legionaries and some mercs. Um, I recruited the mercs when I was dealing with the, the rebellion that was off camera. So we got a nice battle map here, looking out over the water, and. These guys are actually coming in over here. So we got here heavy infantry. Yeah, so huh. I think what we're going to do is have these guys out here. I'll put you there. Actually go. Yeah, we we need to get some missile capability into this army. I'm just going to start the battle. Um, 
что. It'd be quite strange fighting a battle without any missile capability. In fact, this garrison is actually getting quite a lot of experience at the moment with uh, the um, uh, fighting of these rebels because they've been involved in every battle. I'm just going to push these guys forward. Just let me just go fight this at fairly high speed because obviously it's not going to be. Actually, you guys are coming and so we'll bring the cavalry together. Keep moving you guys forward. Iberian swordsmen. We won't need the uh, missile troops. Let's keep moving you that way. You guys can focus on the, the end of that flank. And then you can push this way. Looks like they've opted to come at us, which is good. Alien swordsman, skirmish. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Swordsman, come in this way. Units has used all its ammunition. Right. Ah. See, you guys go after those. Slingers out that. Go after in circuit and the general. Actually, you guys, swordsmen, spearmen, you come up here. You guys come that way. You guys fall onto the backs of those. You can crush these guys, even if they are heavy spear infantry. Slingers, I think you could probably do with just pulling away. Cavalry uh, in... Guys are holding. You have orders, sir. The battle is turning in our favor. General, you chase those. That's the is the light cab. Light cab, chase those. Come that way. Wait. Fire up. Units has used all its ammunition. Won this, so can you cut it out? Yeah, you focus on those. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys come back that way.
general, you take up this position. Somebody running away there, you kill those. You come into this position. But right here we've got 11. You go. You come and stand on the line there. General in here. The enemy general is right. dead. The general's dead. Continue. Let's go after those, go after those, Just clear up this thing. This is one of the pain in the neck processes you've got to put up with if you have to fight every single battle, but we'll be okay. This is, at the very least, this guy's going to become a very highly experienced general at this rate. He is. Right, I think. Our general is under attack. Yeah, from my own troops. Idiots. We lost 110 12 to friendly fire, which is understandable. And these um, Libyo Phoenician rebels are now dead. They had a lot of rank on them, considering what they were. And down they go. And we're taking a little bit of cash from them. I want to have a quick look at these mercs. Um, this Libyan infantry probably isn't. I don't know. They're nice and cheap. So maybe we'll just keep them for the moment. Well, until this area settles down. That should. I mean, there's a good chance we'll get another rebellion here. But we've, we've got things under control now because we've got our armies in position. Got lots of like, cash to spend. Who is this? Back them. Because we got 18 here. We've got some food. My inclination is to... Well, we could take that up. That's going to give us... Ow. Oh, yeah. That will give us about another 700. 14,000. Yeah, let's take Rome up to level 4. And then we're just going to hang on to the rest of the cash. I mean, Rome is the center of civilization. It should be the highest here around. And just a quick look at the. Yeah, I mean, now we're out of winter. The public order needs us. Yeah, you're still, you still need a little bit of work. And I think we've moved every army that we can. I want to leave. I mean, now we've got rid of that navy. Do I need this army here? Do I move it? I think what I'm going to do is move this army to about here. And then you can go in patrol. And we've got this small navy here. Uh, uh, Upper mate, no, just the two for the moment. I mean, the main role of this fleet is going to be to build up and defend this coastline. And then, as we move into Iberia, it will move up this coastline to defend this area. Should um, we get barbarian navies trying to come down? We're looking good. So just going to go for another end turn. We've got some more skills. Um, our guy here. Certainly going to go with the Empire Maintenance. Everything to make us more profitable. And here we go, guys. Okay. Rampant Pirates hunted. Yep, we'll go with that. Nation exposed. Construction report. Wow. That's good. Tingress. Yeah, it's now got this here. We've got minus 17 food. 
think we're going to have to go with that, guys. I was going to put in a library there, but I think food is going to be far more important until we've got this area sorted out. You've got purple dye. That's giving us more money. Uh, anything here, industry. I mean, in some ways, this is a bit of a shame. I, I would have, you know, wanted maybe the icons are the wrong way round, and I would have had the shells as a the uh, the die trader. Okay. Um, come back to that. Let's just have a look at. Well, let's move the armies first. You can stay there. You can stay there. Yeah. We hunger for battle. Um, Carrying legionaries. You're looking good. I think we've now. This area's got back to 31. Ready for orders. You don't need anything here. And of course, this army's going to constantly suffer from attrition until such time as it can. What's the population like here? Uh, pretty rubbish to be honest yeah we've only got 72 it's growing very slowly it's not going to really pick up until this is filled in these idiots are just stood out in the middle of nowhere starving to death which is quite typical for the AI you I don't want you on We're going to give you a first cohort. Now, I could do with giving this general some more uh, military capability, but at the moment my instinct is maybe it should be agriculturalist harvest uh, morale. I think we're just get, we're going to go the military route because. I say this is Legio 5 and they're going to be doing a lot of fighting I did forget to move my agent over here actually who are the Egyptians actually at war with they're at war with Kush and the Sulu kids well if we send our agent that we can actually make contact with Kush so if we send our agent this way we meet Kush then we could probably declare war on Bush, and then that might actually make the Egyptians a bit more inclined towards us. Let's just check our diplomacy. Scylla, they still don't really like us, but they seem to be off. Atrophy Federation. Okay. Where are you? Oh, haven't we met you yet? Here you are. You're at war with those. Probably why they don't like us, because I think we're friendly with those. So that explains why Masilla's armies are moving up this way. They came through my territory and have gone up this way. Which is okay, because I was a bit worried about whether they were planning on attacking me. Let's just have another quick check through. You're not at war. You're not at war. You're not at war. You're not at war. Okay. You don't like us that much as well. Maybe we should send a, a delegation to you for the moment. Let me just see. Yeah. Okay, we've got a couple of females here. But what we do with a little bit of standing might as well get the get them up to the point where they can provide empire maintenance got one, we've got one two three four one two three four one two three four everyone should be married where we'll get you where can we send you well Athens is still around so we'll send you to Athens and we can send you to our friends, the Edrii, are on the side. Have we actually got a trade agreement with the Edrii? Yes, we have. Good. 
anyone else we can get we can't Egypt doesn't want to trade with us they don't really like us and they're at war with everybody that's okay we're not that worried because I don't think you're going to be around for much longer right this agent I want you just to come in and keep an eye on the situation here right want to need to find out where your other army is and you see they've got an army here right next to this army oh that reminds me you didn't have any missile troops and take you out we can is it justified putting those in now I think I think for the moment those guys can just stay the way they are. Ready for orders. I've got a feeling we're gonna we might need this army. But this army's up to 13. It's got four missile units, some cav. And I think I would like some extra cav. 392. 300 to 70. I mean, these guys did very well, actually, in a battle. I mean, considering that they've got melee attack, I mean, they've got some reasonable armor. But, well, 39. You've got the better armor. And you've got 91 armor. Now, these have got the better morale. Marine veteran legionaries. We'll get one of those, and we'll get uh, no. I we'll can actually get some heavy cav in here as well, and that keeps bringing this army up. I mean, this basically makes this army almost invincible with this garrison backing it up. Hurricanesis, yes, thank you. You've been doing okay. Corsica, you just about turn round. Uh, Garamanthia, yeah, you need a bit more. You're still minus two. Italia, six food. Romanization, empire maintenance. That will give me another half a percent Roman maintenance. Latin cultural conversion. I don't really need that at the moment. Uh, that's going to give me. I mean, we've got loads of sanitation here. I don't think we actually need any more growth. And I mean, what's the cultural influence like? Probably massive at the moment. Yeah. I don't think we actually need that. Mauritania. That's a quick win. So I think we will go with that. Then we're just going to hang on to the rest of the cash. I think I've got enough time for one more turn. And then that would be it, guys. So we're just going to go for one more end turn. A successful diplomacy. Boone has a golden tongue. The other faction has offered you an entire settlement. Wow. Where? Got rebellion again here. These guys are really starting to annoy me. Comes of age. Where did we get another settlement? We got a settlement. Oh, great. That's going to be a pain in the neck. Quest, yeah. Okay. We have to. <laughs> well, I suppose we can. Uh, I'm just going to knock that down. And you're going to have to come over here. And that's going to leave Noria a little bit exposed. And I don't really want to leave you in patrol, so you may have to deal with rebellion. What we'll do is we'll just untax you. 
and that's not exactly what I was hoping for. I think what uh, now we'll convert to food, leave this here, and then we'll put a temple in, and then that would be about it. And, your command. and we can't. We got Alpine swordsman, and we got. What I'm going to do is pull in a couple of these cheap, fire in these cheap mercenary hunters. And they can just get upgraded as well. And we give these guys a. And I mean, this settlement's good, nice and solid, but I really would like an arm, the army to defend that. I mean I could let this fall into rebellion. I think we'll give it a go. We'll just leave the artist army here at the moment to work with this area here. Um, I mean can we get anything more from There's a good poor we got non aggression, we got a trade agreement, we got military access. Uh, defensive first, alliance no we'll okay. uh, military alliance no We'll just have to see how that goes, guys. If push comes to shove, I'll just abandon it. It's not exactly what I was looking for. Ah. Uh, that's an unexpected turn up for the book. Now we got these guys here who are effectively dying. Ready for battle. And this army is now up to full strength and refurbishing. Now these are the... I'm kind just of thinking that this army might be better served here and we could take these guys down. They've, they've started moving this army this way. So if we bring this army here and bring this up to full strength, you've got... Yeah. You've got there, we've got the Cav. Yeah, I think we're going to bring this army up to full strength with legions I'm still kind of half looking at these guys I mean they don't look that bad actually but what we're we gonna do okay let's just move a eh? this army up um, we'll bring you up here yeah bring you up to about here and drop you back into control what I'm thinking is that if we can, if this army moves to about here, we can ambush the uh, this army, and then take out that settlement there. What's my diplomatic standing at the moment? We're steadfast. Your reliability rating. Uh, maybe we can aggravate these guys into attacking us. Um, three, we're going to need three more turns before you're ready to go. Yeah, let's just. Recruit in some more. Oops. Legionaries here. Yeah, I think we do two at a time. I don't want to rush this because uh, I don't want suddenly everybody else dogpiling in on us. Yeah, so we can take those out. We got these yozos here. Ready for orders. What are you? What on earth are you doing? Why are you in ambush stance? I think what we will do here is get a couple of these guys in. If we're going to fight these troops, we'll just keep building this army up. I'm ready to go. Have I got any spare armies here? No, we've got maximum number of armies, which is a bit unfortunate. The Vasilla's <laughs> definitely on that on their way up here somehow. Mm, we're quite happy to let, leave them alone as long as they leave us alone. Uh, Africa. This public order. Just 
really need to drive this public order. And I'm not going to get anything from that. Uh, and only a, yeah, well. Tarakinesis. Well, Tarakinesis is getting there once this temple's finished. Well, I've got, I really need to consolidate some of this. Okay, we've got, and I certainly want food in here. We certainly want some public order. And, and how's the sanitation here? Yeah, sanitation's good. Okay, we want to make this into a bit of an economic powerhouse, and that's going to improve the garrison. Well, they all improve the garrison anyway. What else have we got here? That's not really going to help. Now, the supply pits would be very useful, because if we're going to attack through here, yeah, I think we're going to go for supply pits over the library for the moment. And then the reason I'm building the supply pits here, if you see that we will have a supply lines for plus three. When the time comes to attack Egypt, that will keep my army supplied as we advance. So that would be a very useful bit there. And I think that's about it. So this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Next part, we will probably start to push into Iberia, take this region here, and then we will be looking to push through all these three areas here so we'll go probably this one this one this one and then and that will give us the uh, province of Batica and then that will consolidate our front hold along this line here like this and then our next target will be the Lusitani then that will bring us up to here and then what we will probably have to do is is take out these guys certainly would like to take these out to consolidate this area then that should because the final objective is to get to this line here and then consolidate the whole of Iberia but that's where we're going to be going so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>